So we are wearing <laughs> gloves we because are. our hands have oil and acids on them and we don't want to put, get that on any of the objects because Indeed. it will leave fingerprints on them. And it's very difficult, it's sort of beautiful surface mm. to maintain them. So um, we're not being formal like, like the yep, butler. Yep, yep. <laughs> And we have two objects here, one by Jersey Seymour, this wonderful watering can made by Magis in Italy, and then a prototypal design by Natalie Grasset, mm -hmm. which she did when she was working with Philippe Stark for, uh, in Paris when she was just starting out as a designer. Yes, and they're very, very different, aren't they? I mean, th this has got a lo lot of 60s in it, hasn't it? That sort of fun, plastic, um, youthful sort of feel to it. This, to me, is, is a... It's clearly a woman's object, but pink is very, very feminine, I think. Um, you can just see that there, that wonderful fleshy kind of pink at the front. And it, it, to me, it's a kind of object that came out of that generation of designers who didn't want to do any more than they had to. They just wanted to take the basic functionality of an object and give it to you in as simple a way as possible, mm -hmm. reducing things right down to their kind of basic function, I think. And I think also for, for it being a radio, it's interesting that the back mm -hmm. panel is here to also support the cone, which is sort yep. of symbolic of the sound Indeed, the coming out. Indeed, speaker feel of yeah. it. Yeah, but then it also becomes this beautiful, minimal geometric composition. Indeed, indeed. Um, it's a very clever use of taking functional components, putting them together, and creating something more than the sum of the parts, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And also to the back, I think, you know, for this to have this sort of concave mm. surface here, which is a beautiful soft texture it with is. the speaker, and then this beautiful soft metal cone and the panel, and then this sort of, as you were talking mm -hmm. about the pink here, it's really quite almost flesh-like. It is, it's very fleshy, isn't it? As opposed to this much more metallic feel on the other side, so you've got a kind of technology-human interface going on. Very clever choice of color, I think. <laughs> mm. And this, I think, is also really quite wonderful. We see more taking basically a sort of little mushroom mm. form. One of them is a spout, one is the handle where you also put the water in, but you can use it you know, Indeed. to water flowers and whatever. It's got that feel of um, a little, being a little household pet that a number of designers got very interested in the 90s. Mm -hmm. Things not just being there to use, but actually having kind of affectation and you, you're getting fond of them. It's got mm -hmm. that quality. They're also quite beautiful too when you do them in clusters with mm -hmm. different colors. Group them together. They, yeah. they become almost like little sculptures, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. to go in your kitchen or in the potting shed or whatever. Yeah, they're kind of little friends, aren't they? Yeah, so uh, I think it's one of Seymour's most interesting designs, even yeah. though it's a very sort of utilitarian object. The simplicity of it is what makes it, I think, yeah.